hope you're okay and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another haul video and it is H&M. If you guys know, which you probably do because I've mentioned it quite a few times now, but I'm going to New York in January so I feel like at the moment I'm collecting bits and bobs for my New York trip. I know it's going to be absolutely freezing. I've read so many blog posts about New York in January and everybody's like, it is so cold. So I've been keeping an eye out for bits and bobs for New York. So I've ordered a ton of jumpers, a coat, some shoes and stuff from H&M because I really find that H&M do some nice coats. You know, I love H&M coats. And they also do a good like selection of jumpers, um, shoes, they just do a good section of everything. But anyway, gonna show you what I picked up. So if you wanna see what I've got from H&M, then please continue watching. Okay, so first of all, shoes. I definitely, definitely need a flat pair of shoes for New York. There's no way that I can explore New York in my, you know, massive heels. So I compromised a little bit with the completely flat and I seen these. Oh my God, how beautiful are these? I'm just literally in love so like i said they've got a little bit of a heel but because it's chunky and it's like literally like that big that is not going to give me any grief at all walking believe me i just seen these and i absolutely fell in love i love a bit of a statement heel especially if you're wearing like a big coat and a plain outfit i really feel like it just makes your outfit look a lot more fashionable um so yeah i seen these and honestly i knew straight away i needed to get them they're such good quality as well so this these are these silver studs all over them Got a little bit of a point to the front of the shoe, which I really, really like. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just obsessed with these. I just think they're really, really nice. And also, I am really, really pleased that they have got just a little bit of a heel because, like, completely flat, so it makes me feel so short. So yeah, obsessed with these. Okay, moving on to the next thing from H&M. So this is going to look absolutely massive and big off camera, but oh, I'm obsessed with this. I've seen this on. Who did I see this on? I seen it on someone on my Instagram and straight away when I seen it I was like oh my god that coat is gorgeous and I'm in dire need of a new faux fur coat it's something a bit different I feel like black faux fur coats are lovely but again like I said because I am going to be so laid up and stuff I want to make sure that my outerwear is like on point um so yeah I seen this faux fur coat oh, how gorgeous is it like it's black with like these white like white bits flexing should I say um I got this in a size six and do you know what I'm actually really glad I did because it is really big and um, they actually only had a size six left it was pretty much sold out and I got this I don't know how it is now I've not checked lately oh my god what is going on here you see my bra strap sorry it's like really slouchy this jumper is yeah I don't know the current situation of this coat and if it's in stock now but I know definitely when I was ordering it it was running low um but yeah I absolutely love this like I said this is going to be so warm for New York, like teamed with, you know, my boots, just like a black pair of like faux leather trousers. Like I think it's really gonna be like a nice statement piece. I think this was on the pricier side, it was about 90 pounds, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but I don't know, like I always like to invest in nice coats, so yeah, love, love that. Okay, so moving on to jumpers. So, like I said, I wanted to pick up a few more jumpers. What size did I get this in? Got this in a large because they didn't have any medium. So, I don't know how big it's going to be. I do like to wear my jumpers very oversized and slouchy anyway. So, it's not normally a problem. But I'm not too familiar with how H&M sizes are. They only had a large left in this and I just loved it. So, I was like, I'm just going to get it and see how it is. So, as you can see, it's this sort of like, like bobbly um, knit jumper with a high neck. Um, I just really like the colour of this, I liked the knit of it, I just thought it was really really nice. It is quite wide, so I don't know how that's going to fit once it's on, if it, if I can pull it off, if it is going to look okay. Um, I'm not too sure, but I do really really like this. So even if it doesn't fit, I feel like in a medium or a small this will look so amazing because yeah, it's a really really nice jumper to be honest with you. It will look great with just like a black pair of jeans. So yeah, I really like that. I liked it that much, I then got it in another colour because you guys know my wardrobe is very monochrome, there's not a lot of colour going on so I thought you know what let's go for a bit of colour. So I got it in this like tealy colour, um, again I got it in a large so it's like super big and oversized. But yeah anyway I wanted a different colour in my wardrobe, again I thought this was quite a nice colour, I just love the knitting and everything of this jumper, um, it looks so nice on, like I love it when you you know, look at the models and see how it fits on, it's always a good indicator of what it looks like. So yeah, I just really like this, so I picked up that. So the next thing I picked up from H&M was this striped jumper, I don't really own a lot of striped jumpers or just striped 
patterns in my wardrobe to be quite honest with you and um yeah like i just wanted to add this in because i thought this would be really really nice like styled up um you know with some like wide leg trousers and stuff but it could look really really cute it's in a really soft knitted fabric um it's quite thin but i just thought it was really nice i like the neckline on it um, and yeah, I just think this styled up could look really smart and um, sophisticated and would be a nice little addition. I got this in a size small and it's on their basic range and yeah, I really, really like that. So the next thing I picked up from H&M was a grey jumper because I've really got a lot of grey going on in my wardrobe at the moment. This was in a size medium. Again, it's a high neck, like a big chunky jumper. It's a different knit this time, so it's sort of like a... Um, what knit is this? It's like a ribbed downward knit, if you can see. I really, really like this. I think it's going to look so nice on. I really like the knit of it, and the neck seems really nice as well. It's really, like, chunky and warm and oversized. Um, so, yeah, this is what it looks like. It also, like, steps back at the back, so it's, like, shorter at the front and a little bit longer at the back. Um, so, yeah, really nice quality. Again, I always find that H&M knitwear is quite good quality. Um, so, yeah, really, really like that one. Okay, so the next one that I got, I'm not really sure about this at all. I didn't know what to expect, but I liked it on. Like, when I seen it on the model, I thought she pulled it off really well. And I thought I'd give it a go. I thought, yeah, let's just get it, see what it looks like. But now I've got it, I feel like it resembles a pyjama top. <laughs> so, this is what it looks like. It's this white, like, again, oversized jumper. But it's in, like, what I can only describe is your pyjama. Do you know when you get, like, really fleecy pyjama tops? Like, that's the fabric. So, as you can see, it's like this. What is this? I can't even begin to think what this is called. It's, like, fleecy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I got this in a size medium, and I don't know, like, I don't know how it will look when it's on. Um, but, yeah, I don't really think it's for me. I, like I said, I just feel like this looks like a pyjama top. It really does. Um, but it's really warm. So yeah, I picked up that. Okay, so moving on to accessories. The next thing I picked up was just this little um, belt, or little belt. This little waist belt. It's just simply just quite a thin waist belt, just for your jeans. And it's just got this like gold circle on the end. Just thought this was really smart and stylish. I am always in need of belts because I'm, I really struggle with waists. Like, the waist on jeans are always really bad, big, bag, bad, what? <laughs> They're always really big and baggy, so I'm always looking for a belt. Um, and this one just seemed really nice quality and good. I've got a Primark one similar to this, but it's balanced as legs. So I thought I'd get this. I think this was quite cheap, to be honest with you. It was quite reasonable. Let me, there you go. That's it done up. And then it obviously goes back through the gold loop. So yeah, it looks like that. Just really simple, but like that will look so nice with a pair of jeans. So yeah, picked up that. Okay, so the last thing I picked up from, I was gonna say from New York. What am I on about? I've got New York on the brain. Um, from H&M was this like headband oh my god this is so soft so it looks like this just this like plain black like bowed detail headband um, I've seen a lot of people wear these in the colder winter like climates and they just think they look really really cute and snuggly and like I said New York's gonna be absolutely freezing it's always nice to change up the headgear like I've got like a few hats and stuff that you know, undoubtedly I will be wearing but I just thought this would look really cute one day like shoved on um, so yeah, I'm going to see how it looks obviously because I might look a total idiot wearing it. But yeah, really like this and obviously black goes with everything. So yeah, that comes to the end of my H&M haul. I really, really hope you have enjoyed this video. I feel like it's a while since I've done a H&M haul. Um, but yeah, been really, really pleased with these few little bits. As always, all the links to the items that I have shown will be in the description bar below. So check them out if you would like to. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. And remember to click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. It would mean so, so much to me. I feel like I'm finding it really hard to grow at the moment I feel like the subscribers are just not going up don't know what's going on like I feel like my channel is just a bit of a brick wall so please subscribe and yeah I shall see you all in my next video bye bye